Hi guys and welcome to the Family Fudge. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Jennifer and usually on this channel I like to share all things mommy and family related. I like to share recipes, grocery hauls, DIYs, things like that. So if you're into those types of videos, I invite you to please subscribe. Once in a while I get some time to myself and what I like to do is go shopping. Right now I'm at the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna run in and see what's new, maybe get some organizing ideas, things like that. So come along with me. Now my Dollar Tree likes to put the seasonal items out in front. So this is what I see when I first walk in the door. All of the really cute party decorations for summer. Luau, Hawaiian themed things are so fun. The pineapple is my favorite. It really makes me want to throw a luau. And then I found a new storage bin. I haven't seen in this style before with a sort of diagonal diamond pattern that is really fun. And it came in several different colors. On to the red, white, and blue section. I really like these cupcake liners and the socks. You guys know I love fun socks. These look like the American flag and bows. There were so many kinds of bows. Glitter bows and raffia bows. Metal decorations with bells. This one has an eagle. That would be awesome for the patio. And this sign, God Bless America with a little star. That was really nice for just a dollar. They have lanterns and beads and door hangers. All kinds of decorations. You can really find some awesome 4th of July gear at the Dollar Tree. Another area I love at the Dollar Tree is the stationery. I especially like to stock up on pens. There are so many pens here, but I have to show you my favorite. These Just Write pens. They come in all different colors. They're a little bit larger, so they're easy to hold. And they're really good, especially for a dollar. Pretty much every time I visit the Dollar Tree, I get another pack because I'm always losing my pens. Another fun section is the pool toys. They have a killer whale and a clownfish. That is so fun. But my favorite one is the donut one. My kids would love that. Next is the candy, you guys. My Dollar Tree used to only have candy like this. Hard candy that, that my grandmother might have been a fan of. But now you can actually find Reese's and Kit Kats, a lot of name brand candy. But I have to show you my favorite candy at the Dollar Tree is actually this one, the Caramel Filled Lint Chocolate Bar. It is so good. It tastes just like the round lint balls. Another section I love is the education section. I actually own many of these things already, but I did find a few new things like these craft and activity mats. These are perfect for kids who want to paint and do other crafts. It's gonna protect your table. They came in green and blue, black and red. I think this is an excellent idea. Also in the stationery section, I came across this plastic envelope. I think it's meant to store coupons and things like that, but I think this would work really well in your car glove box to organize things like your car registration and your proof of insurance. I might have to get one of these. Now here's something I don't recommend from this section and that is the mini sticker notes. I was expecting these to be just like post-it notes and they were not. They would not stick at all. Another great find at the Dollar Tree are their coloring books. My kids are huge fans of these coloring books. They also love the play packs, especially for long car trips. My kids also really like these paint with water books. Like these said, you just need water. So there's hardly a mess with these, which I appreciate. This actually will keep my kids entertained for a long time. Of course, I have to check out the kids craft section. There's so many fun activities here, but I really like these kites. Check out the pizza and the flying pig. I think that one's my favorite. I cannot recommend these bubbles, however. They look like really cute popsicle sticks, but I bought these last week and they were broken right out of the package. I do really like to buy the watercolor sets and their paint brushes. I think they are a really good deal. 
Another thing I love to stock up on at the Dollar Tree are these Kleenex packs. You get three for a dollar and they come in a lot of fun designs. Keep one in the car, one in your purse, one in the diaper bag. Now, this next one might sound strange, but I've used plenty of these dollar pregnancy tests over the years and they work just as well as the ones that are so much more expensive. I actually recommend these. It's a great way to save a lot of money. However, I cannot recommend the drug testing one because I have never used it. Another area I love is the plastic storage bin area. And I found this new, really large one. And it's still only a dollar. Near the automotive section, you can find a two pack of these carabiner clips. I actually use these all the time. Here you can see I actually clip my keys to my purse every time I get out of the car. And I have to say, I rarely lose my keys when I do it this way. You can also find car washing mitts and towels, lots of things to keep your car clean. Sometimes it's hard to stay away from the snacks at the dollar store, but I am a huge fan of the bugles. Okay, I think I took a little bit more than an hour, but I did fill up my cart, so I'm gonna head on home and show you what I got. Okay guys, so I've been home from the Dollar Tree for probably over an hour now, but because I ran late at the store, by the time I got home we had to do dinner, bedtime routines, all that fun stuff with the kids. But I think at least two out of the four are, sleep are sleeping now, so I can finally show you what I got. I think I ended up spending just over $60, which for me at the Dollar Tree is a lot, but I have a lot of projects in the works and so these things are going to uh, go a long way. So let me show you what I got. Right, we're going to go ahead and start over here in the food section. Now I don't normally buy a lot of food at the Dollar Tree, but I am working on an emergency kit and I needed some specific types of foods. Things like crunchy granola bars and raisins, some freeze dried fruits and some juices. Those are all going to go in an emergency kit with these water bottles. I also picked up this cute little um, storage container that's meant for cereal, but I'm hoping to use it in my car to collect, oh, to collect garbage. So we'll see if that will work, I'm not quite sure. But if it doesn't, I will definitely use it in the pantry for things like cereal. And then down over here, I picked up eight of these solar powered lawn lights. And I got these to spruce up our back patio. I think these are so pretty at night. So I picked up eight of those. And then over here in the sort of Memorial Day, 4th of July section, I picked up this really cute bow. I'm not sure what material this is, but it's really pretty and I got this felt garland to go along with it. Back here, I love these things. These are actually really good quality for a dollar. These are like a little zippered pouch that has a strap and these are going to be perfect for organizing things in the car like feminine products or you know makeup and then I picked up this really cute set of fingernail files and it came with four so I can keep one in my car one in my purse you know one in my husband's car and then have a backup because I can't tell you how many times I've needed one of these and I didn't have one so four for a dollar good deal over here I picked up a new flashlight to um, stay in the glove compartment of my car. And then I'm not quite sure how good this is gonna be. It's an umbrella from the Dollar Tree, so it's probably just a, like a backup umbrella. And that is to stay in the car. I picked up this for the kids from the Dollar Tree. We have a DVD player in the car and a lot of our DVDs have been scratched, so. I'm sure that they will enjoy this. It's probably really ridiculous, but I think that they'll like it. And for just a dollar, I thought we could give it a try. It's really good for those long car trips. I picked up a new scrub brush for shining my sink. And then the kids will be so excited for these. One of their, one of their biggest complaints on long car trips is the sun, the sun in their face. So I picked up this pair for Jackson and this pair for Mackenzie. And then these ones for Lily. I could just see little sassy Lily loving these glasses. They are so they are so cute. 
And then, can you guys tell I'm a homeschool mom? Yes, I love their educational section. We're almost at the end of our school year, so to have things like this on hand to keep them busy and maybe they will learn something, I think is great. I picked up two of these paint with water books. So we got this Hello Kitty one and this one. And then these ones were super cute. These are actually um, sticker books. We have letters, colors, and shapes. And it, can, it comes with all these really fun, cute stickers to match up. Then I got one that has puppies. This is more Mackenzie's age. She's a little bit older, so I'm sure she will like the puppies. And then I got this one for Jackson because he loves all things farm. And then for Lily, I picked up this really cute alphabet game. This is called Feed the Monster. And as you can see, it's kind of like a phonics matching game. And then all of these really fun wheels, you guys. These are so cute. This one is the color wheel. So you can turn it and you can see, okay, what does orange and red make? Red, orange, so they can learn about color combinations. This one is the life cycle of a frog. And this one is all things outer space. I know Mackenzie will love this one a lot. And then this one is all about the sky and the clouds. So I think they'll be really excited about that. And for a dollar, that's a pretty good deal. Over here, I picked up two packs of my favorite um, budget pens. Now this one's actually pink and purple and green, and then these ones are black. Now back over here, I picked up some of the new larger sized storage containers from the Dollar Tree. These are super popular, and they run out of certain colors really quickly. But for some reason, I thought I picked up two, and then when I got home, I ended up with three, which is not a, not a huge deal. I have some different storage projects I'm working on with these, and I love this, I do love this teal color. They also had blue and black and gray and pink, I think they had pink. Yeah, so I picked up, by accident, I picked up three of those. And then these are something that I'm going to be keeping in the car for emergencies. If we have a blowout diaper, or somebody soils themselves, or we need a quick barf bag, these are gonna do the trick. Now I used to hang on to my grocery store bags and reuse those, but you can't really find the thin bags in California anymore. They're all um, switching to reusable bags, like the thicker kind. And so I thought these would be perfect to keep in the car for emergencies. And let me tell you, sometimes we need a barf bag. And then back here I have all of these assorted containers. Can you tell you, can you guys tell I like the white ones? I really like the white containers. I think they look crisp and clean. But if you if you like color, they had a lot of really pretty colors. Pink and teal and blue, all kinds of colors. Over here I picked up two of these. You have this one in the tan and this one in the black. And I actually use these to organize things in my fridge. This is the perfect size to organ organize yogurt tubes or um, string cheese, things like that. So this one's gonna go in the fridge. And then this one's going to go in my car. I have a really deep center console, so it's gonna go down in there and help um, organize things in the car. This little shoe bin and this little shoe bin are going to hold our emergency um, supplies in our car. Things like the snacks and some emergency water. They're gonna go in there. And I'm gonna be sure to write the date on here so that I can make sure to um, replenish those and restock those because they, they will not stay good in the car forever, but we definitely wanna have some emergency preparedness going on. Over here I have my favorite. This is probably my favorite plastic bin from the Dollar Tree. It's the perfect size for organizing really deep drawers, like my kids' dresser drawers. So I picked up four of those, whoops. And then I picked up three of these um, more square ones. And I'm hoping to organize under the sink and maybe a couple in the laundry room. And I think that is it. Okay guys, thanks for joining me for this Dollar Tree Shop With Me slash haul. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite Dollar Tree items are. And if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and consider subscribing if you're not already. Thanks guys and I'll see you next time.